Hi guys! So I am filming right now on my MacBook. Right? That's what it's called, right? MacBook? Um, I'm filming on my MacBook because I actually like made an entire video for you guys yesterday and then when I went to upload it, it wouldn't upload. So I'm not really sure what's going on. Like something's happening with my uploading process. So I wanted to make a video for you guys and I was scared that I was going to make the video and then the video wasn't going to upload because that other video wasn't uploading. So I was like, ah, okay. Um, I got my hair done today. Yay! Felt so good to get my hair done. Um, if you, I mean, it feels good for anybody to get their hair done, really. But if you're a girl who dyes her hair blonde, when you have a little bit of roots, it sucks so much because it's like dark and then light. So I was so happy, like so, so happy to get my hair done. And I really love my hairdresser. If you're following me on Snapchat, I have, I like posted a picture with all of her information because she is the best. And if you live in LA or you live in the valley. I would totally recommend going to her. I had like a really bad situation because I really loved my hairdresser when I was in LA. Like I absolutely loved her. Sorry I'm moving around so much. It's like very weird just like seeing myself. Um, I really loved her but then when I moved to the valley it's like technically only like a 30 minute drive but it really ended up being like an hour and a half drive because of traffic so when the last time she did my hair like the very last time it was nine hours from the time that I left my house to the time I got home was nine hours so I just like couldn't do that anymore so I actually found somebody who is so close like when I say so close like my house she is three streets away from my house like I drive by her like salon every day and I actually had seen a really bad Yelp review about her. Somebody had posted like a Yelp review and they were like, my hair, she burnt my hair off, don't go to her, blah, blah, blah. And I read that Yelp review and it really scared me. So I actually went to somebody else and I went to somebody else for like three or four months. And every time she did my hair, like she was pretty affordable. I think she was like $80 each time, which that's really like, that's super cheap to, for a girl to like get your hair um, done 80 bucks is like really really cheap so especially like in LA like somewhere else that's like normal price so this girl kept doing my hair and I liked her but like every time I was like hey like you know I want it like a light blonde and she would like dye my hair darker and then tone it because I have a lot of gray hair sort of going gray at 13 so she would like, she was like, oh, well, you have so much gray, you have so much gray. Like trying to make me feel like bad, like I have gray hair, so it's my fault. And that's why she's not getting me the color I want. So, which, what, it's just like, no, you're just not doing your job correctly. So now I go to this new girl and I love her. This is my third, yeah, it's my third time seeing her. And I love her. She actually cut a lot of my hair off the first time I went because I had like this, no, it was like this much. I had like this much hair that she cut off. But it wasn't like this thick all all across. It was thin. It was like it was like my hair was like thick and then it like tapered down and it was just disgusting. It was like this like kind of row of like little itty bitty like it was just it was not it was not a cute look. But so she cut that. And actually very exciting news. So today I was telling her that I want to get extensions and we made my appointment and I paid my deposit. So I'm actually getting extensions. My extension appointment is on the 13th. I'm so excited. It's going to be like, I can't really show you guys. Um, I'm getting 22 inches. So my hair now is about 12 inches. And 18 inches would get me to like here. And 22 would get me like probably like not where my belly button is. Probably like where my belly button is or a little bit before it. So... I'm really excited because I love long hair and I've not had extensions for a long time because I've been letting my hair grow but like my hair is just really thin like all of my hair together like this is all of my hair together that is so thin like this should be doubled like if I had this on both like if I did pigtails and I had this on both sides 
that would be set. I would be set. I would not want or need to get extensions. I mean, no one really needs them, but I would not want extensions. But it's like my hair is just so thin. I mean, I guess it doesn't look like all that thin. But see, I don't know. Tell me if you think my hair is thin or not. But see, it's like, it's not, it's not really thick. It's, in my opinions, it's very fine. It's very thin. So I'm excited because I really want that, like, thick, longer hair. And even though my hair has gotten longer, which I'm, like, so grateful for and I've worked so hard, like, I've taken so many supplements and, you know, I didn't bleach my hair for four years. I just got it dyed. So now I'm bleaching again, but I'm using Olaplex, so I'm, like, doing the right things. But I don't know. I just want it longer and thicker. So I'm really excited. And apparently she's going to do the individuals. And apparently they're going to last for six months. She said they can last up to six months. Which I'm kind of like, I hope they last for six months. I've never had extensions that lasted for that long. So not saying that I don't trust her or believe her because I do. I'm just saying I would be like really surprised if they lasted for six months. So yeah, um, oh, I am going to a doctor to talk about LASIK surgery. Not sure if you guys know this, but I was supposed to go in the beginning of October and I was supposed to get LASIK surgery. I was really excited, I was all set. Then I read some like really bad Yelp reviews, like, oh, by the way, that other thing about the hairdresser, she actually told me that person never even went into her place. That person, she never knew that person's hair. She said that she doesn't know who left that Yelp review. She contacted them, contacted Yelp, wouldn't take it down, but she said that she didn't, that she never even did that person's hair. So I was like, see, I didn't go to her for so many months because I was scared because that review, and it wasn't even a real review. So take reviews with a grain of salt. But... The, I went to this LASIK doctor. I was going to have my, my eyes done. First of all, this doctor charges like $3,000 more than like typical LASIK surgeons charge. And that has a lot to do with the fact that it was like a nice area and a nice building and this and that, you know, like Beverly Hills kind of stuff. Um, I felt kind of intimidated by the doctor and I felt like when I, I was asking him things he wasn't really answering me the way that he wasn't like giving me straight answers also the doctor wore glasses the receptionist wore glasses all the nurses wore glasses and I was like if you're doing LASIK surgery and you're telling me about how great it is to like not need glasses and all this stuff why do you have glasses like it was just it was kind of weird um and I felt like also she was like really like pressuring me on the price um, she was like, oh, well, like, if you pay this now, and you pay this, and pay this, and pay that, like, it wasn't like, we want to help you be able to see better than you've ever been able to see. It was, like, all about the money, which I understand it's a business, but it's like, you're a doctor. Did you become a doctor because you wanted to help people, or did you become a doctor because you wanted to be rich? Because to me, it felt like he just wanted to be rich. It didn't feel like to me that he genuinely cared about, like, the condition of my eyes. And when I was asking him questions, like, I had heard for years that you had to wait a certain age. And he's like, no, 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 you could do it at 16. You could do that. And it's just like, I feel like he was kind of treating me like I was an idiot, which, like, I'm not a doctor. I would never say I was a doctor. But I did do a lot of research. And I knew some things from research. And I felt like he was, like, making it seem like I was stupid. So, um, I found another doctor who is pretty close to where I live, actually, which is kind of surprising, and about two or three thousand dollars less than that other doctor. Now, that price has anything to do with it. It definitely adds. Like, hey, you can buy a lot of stuff with that. Um, or give to charity. Um, but it's like, this doctor has better reviews, is Korean, which I really trust Asian doctors. For me, an Asian doctor is so much superior to a Western doctor because the Asian culture, they're born doing sutures. They're born, they're taught a certain way, and they're more like respectful of people. Like Western people are very like in and out, in and out, like do this, do that, like you know, like everything's like fast food. It's like, you know, like here's your eye surgery, here's this, here's that, you know, where I feel like Korean people and Asian people in general, they are more respectful of time and they're more, um, they're more caring. Like I feel like every Korean or Asian doctor I've gone to has like really cared about me and about like if I was ever going to do another plastic surgery, like my boobs, if I was going to get my boobs redone, which I probably should in the next few years, I would go to a Korean doctor hands down. 
So I like that Doctor is Korean, not trying to be like racist or anything, but um, I do like that. And then on top of it, all the reviews are great. Like the only bad reviews, I mean the only bad reviews were that people waited longer. Like one woman was like, uh, it's it's in a strip mall. Like I got there and I couldn't believe it was in a strip mall. Like, you know, like just so stupid. You can be working in a strip mall and have like a good practice. Like, you know, it's like some of those people that are like, they won't buy a dress if it's under $500. But if the dress is over $500, they'll buy it because they think it's better. It's like, no, you know, it's not always better. Um, but you do pay for what you get. So always make sure that excuse me, you're going to like a good doctor. Don't just go somewhere because it's like a bargain. But I wasn't going to this guy because he's a bargain. I'm going to him because um, I just had great recommendations. All the Yelp reviews were phenomenal. And the only ones that were bad were about like, oh, I had to wait a little longer, which honestly, I'm okay with waiting a little longer. Like this one, these one people were like, we had to wait. And I had a dentist appointment. Like who schedules like a LASIK eye doctor appointment and a dentist appointment on the same day? I don't know. Maybe they're just like really busy. But they were like, I had to cancel the appointment. I didn't even get seen because I had to go to my dentist appointment. Well, I'm sorry, but it's like I would rather the doctor spend more time on another patient than rush it because these are people's eyes, you know? Like, me personally, I would be fine waiting extra time if I knew that the person ahead of me was getting, like, a good consultation, you know, because these are your eyes. So... That's, I mean, the other doctor, the more expensive one, who I kind of got a weird feeling from, there was a Yelp review that was so scary. It scared me so much. Somebody said that they got one of their eyes turned completely red, like all of the blood vessels broke, and the doctor was like, did, doctor didn't say anything to him, first of all, so he like gets up and then realizes his eyes like all messed up, and says to the doctor, like, what happened to my eye? Like my, And he's like, oh, that'll go back to normal. Week goes by, not back to normal. Two weeks go by. A year goes by and he's still going to the doctor. His eyes still masked up and the doctor's like, oh, that's permanently damaged. It won't go back to normal. And walks out of the room. Like, doesn't even say anything. And the guy was like, he has no bedside manner. He literally, like, destroyed my eye. I look like I'm a villain in a cartoon. And everywhere I go, people look at my eye. And I probably have at least once a day someone say, oh, that's not a pink eye, is it? And the doctor, like, didn't care. I was like, dude, that is like, what? How? So I read that, and I was like, no, no thank you. So hopefully this doctor is good. And apparently this he can do um, the surgery the same day as the consult if I want to, or I could come back. But I don't know. I mean, if I like him, maybe I'll do it that same day. That, to me, was so cool. I was like, that's actually, like, really cool because, you know, wham, bam, like, you get it done. You know, you go in for consultation, you feel like the doctor get it done. My eyesight is really, really poor, and this has been something I have struggled with. And this has been something that – I'm going to move the computer back a little. This has been something I've struggled with, and this has been something that has bothered me for years. Like – I don't even know if I can say years, like my entire life. This is something that I have dealt with my entire life. My entire life, I have had really poor vision. Like I haven't been able to see anything. It's really scary because I wear contacts a lot and, you know, contacts get itchy and dry and they hurt. And there's always that fear of what if my contact falls out or what if I don't have glasses or... What if something happens? It's a really powerless feeling because if I didn't have my glasses with me, then, and I didn't have contacts with me, I really would be blind. And if you're not somebody who's ever dealt with, like, sight issues, it's a really scary feeling. Like, I can't drive. I can't do anything without my glasses on. I can't physically see. I really can't see. Like, okay, I'm taking off my glasses right now. I can't see my own face on the screen. Like, I can see that there's a blur, but I can't make up my own face. I cannot see my own face. If I saw this right now, I could not tell myself between any other white blonde girl. Like, we would all look the same to me. And that's a really scary feeling. 
And when I was younger, real young, I was ashamed to wear glasses. Glasses weren't cool. Cool kids don't wear glasses.